Hey, what's going on guys? I wanted to talk about a financial decision that I made that's gonna change my life. I know it and maybe it can help change your life too. So let's jump into it. So guys, I wanna talk about the concept of surrounding yourself with the right people. Now, I don't know who my audience is. I'd love if you dropped a comment below and told me where you're from, what part of the country. But I'm from an area that is a small Midwest town, um, around 40,000 people. The metro is like 70,000 people. And I am two hours away from a major metro, like, you know, a big city. And so, you know, there's a limiting mindset that can come with that. Like, ah, oh, there's not a lot going on here. You know, there's not a lot of real big go-getters. It seems like everyone around me is uh, complacent and just kind of does the same thing every day. And um, this is really a, a limiting mindset that's really not always true. Um, so I, if you follow me for long, you know that I spent the summer down in Knoxville, Tennessee. And it was one of the best experiences for me because I spent a lot of time with guys who were absolutely crushing it in life, you know, in real estate, in health, and uh, just self-development. So one example, uh, they would, you know, not only take care of their bodies, eat the right food, you know, work out, uh, but they'd also train their mind and train their self with public speaking and things like that. On Thursdays, we would get together and we'd do Toastmasters and we'd challenge each other to get better in front of people, better in, you know, speaking in front of people, which clearly I, I've still got a lot to work on there. But just being around these guys just made me realize like how important it is to surround yourself with people who are pushing yourself. Because it seems like a lot of people I grew up with um, and, and maybe just the people who I surround myself with the most back in my hometown just didn't have that same motivation and drive that I was looking for. And so, um, you know, I, I had this limiting mindset when I came back to my hometown, like, ah, you know, there's nothing going on here. This place is so slow, but, you know, it still made sense for my wife and I to live here. And, uh, but then I started really digging in. I got a shout out to my buddy Aiden. So Aiden introduced me to someone um, who is a more or less a coach, a mentor. Um, I don't know what his actual term would be or what he'd like to be called, like kind of a, a life coach or something like that. And, um, you know, a lot of people, when they, when they hear about that stuff, they're like, oh, you know, get out of here with all that, you know, feel good. I don't even know, you know, the believe it and you achieve it, all that stuff. You know, there's a lot of people who are negative about that. Um, I'm a very huge proponent of, of self-development. I mean, it has helped me a lot mentally. It's helped me physically. But, uh, you know, when I first got, you know, heard about this, this guy, his name is Payne. Um, when pain and I connected, I was like, wow, this is going to be, you know, huge for me having someone I've always wanted a coach, you know, someone who I can uh, have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with who can really test me and push me. And so hold on, I'm going to, I'm going to do something real quick. Whoa, Never mind. Okay. My computer's like taking off like a jet engine back there. But uh, yeah, so uh, I was introduced to this guy named Payne and I'm like, you know what? I want to pull the trigger on this and I know it's going to cost money. And, um, and so, you know, he told me what it was. And honestly, like I've got to the point in my life where I realized that every dollar I invest back into myself is going to be returned tenfold by uh, just expanding my thinking, by expanding the people I'm surrounding myself with. And so, you know, I, I'm not going to say the exact dollar amount because maybe, you know, paying charges different for different people, but, um, you know, it's a good amount of money. It's, you know, well over a hundred dollars an hour. Um, yeah, you know, it's a lot of money and some people would, you know, come at that and be like, holy cow, like I am not spending the money to, you know, talk to someone. And, you know, one, someone I know asked me, he's like, you know, what does this pain guy have to show, you know, for like, who, what has he done? And Payne is actually a very, like he's done a lot of different things and a lot of incredible, um, you know, ventures and businesses, but it's not even about that. It's about having a sounding board and someone, not necessarily, not necessarily someone who has like achieved, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. I think it's good to have those people in your life too. But I like to think of this guy as someone who is checking my thinking. You know, he's not afraid to call me out. Um, so we already, you know, last meeting, we sat down for multiple hours on end and he was just like challenging the way I was thinking about things. Like I realized that I hold a lot of guilt about, um, like, okay, am I just, do I just care about money? Is that all I care about? And, and we got to the, down to the bottom of it and I know the answer is no, it's not. I just feel like God gave me this ability and desire to just keep pushing and keep fighting. And, 
Uh, but anyways, the whole point of this video is who are you surrounding yourself with and do you need to hire someone like a personal coach or a mentor or whatever it is to start to challenge the way you're thinking, to push you past your limiting beliefs? I mean, we are all programmed from a very young age on a uh, you know, way of thinking. And you know whatever it is, it might be that uh, you were you were raised in a way that you know money is bad, success is bad. Just go out and get a nine to five job, and you know those wealthy people are terrible people. Or maybe uh, you just have the the mentality that uh, you know the nine to five is all there is. Maybe you don't even realize that there's entrepreneurship out there. Uh, so you know whether it's hiring a personal coach or whether it is you know surrounding yourself with the right friends, um, that can be absolutely massive. You know I catch myself. You know, a lot of the friends that I grew up with maybe don't have the same business mind as me. Uh, I am not telling you guys to lose your friends. I don't think that's something you should do. But just just be aware of, you know, who you're surrounding yourself with. You will become, you know, what the saying is, it's like you'll become one of the five people you spend the most time with. So just be careful that these people, if you look at their lives and you say, eh, you know, they're great people, but I don't know that I want, you know, their life. Make sure you're surrounding yourself with the group of people that uh, you would like to be like and who you'd like to spend time with. And I know that the money might seem overwhelming, but like I said earlier, every dollar that you spend on yourself is probably gonna be 10X in the amount that you're going to you know, push past your limiting beliefs and you're just gonna surround yourself with the right people. And you know, shout out to my buddy or my coach, Payne. I mean, he has already started to push me into a group of people who are like, you know, just way up here. And so when you start surrounding yourself with, you know, people way up here and you're down here, you're automatically going to start getting pulled up. So, uh, guys, I couldn't uh, say it more. I mean, you got to just surround yourself with the right people. But, uh, yeah, sorry about that rant. And, um, guys, I'm hoping to drop another video later this week. I bought a, another mobile home. Super exciting. We're going to move that into one of my parks. And so I'll probably do a lot more videos on that. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.